Hi friends, this is MD Vegan. Dandelion salad today. And there is a special point the dandelion. Here I have a small piece of dandelion cut into small stripes. You see? It's very easy. Just cut, wash it before and then cut it um, crosswise and you have a very nice uh, texture. But the problem with the dandelion is it, is it is super healthy and always available. It's one of my favorite salads. Greens, so high in nutrients, but it is a little bit bitter. And that is always the problem. I mean, some people like it. They don't have a problem with bitter, but only some people. Most of the people would say, oh, bitter, no. And I understand, and that's why I have some plants. I have made some plants with dressing, and I know for sure that orange juice or orange would um, help a lot. All of a sudden, the bitterness is away. And the other rule is, I have not to use salt in the dressing. So these two things, and some other small things, um, make it a wonderful, not bitter flavor. So it is a perfect dressing for the, for the salad that I will make today. But first I show you other ingredients. So dandelion here, and the rest is very easy. Just one bell pepper, a red bell pepper, also in small pieces, similar texture. I like the colors so I see the green and red. And you see, isn't that wonderful? The green and red is wonderful, right? And to that I add some white from the onion, also very nice. See, one onion, also similar sized pieces. That is good here because then we have equal sizes and very different flavors and colors. And the fourth is walnut. It has also something better than walnut. It is so nice with dandelion, with bell pepper, with onion. All this, I think, is the perfect combo. Very easy, almost available everywhere. Walnuts, onions, bell pepper, and dandelion as a main base. And now I make my dressing. So this I set aside, just to show you what I need the dressing for. And I have a dressing to blend. Oops, sorry. Yeah, the top of the blender. And I begin with the oranges, as I told you before. Here I have two oranges, peeled and cut. Put them into the, into the blender. Then I have some pistachios to make a creamy dressing. I love pistachios, they're very inexpensive. Iranian shop, you know the story. The Iranian shops for, the, for, the, uh, for their own customers from Iran, or Afghanistan, or maybe um, Pakistan. They have these wonderful, uh, very expensive nuts we have to, to, to pay so much for here in our countries. I have a half of an avocado that is very nice with a pistachio. I made the pistachio avocado dressing before, just without the orange, but now with dandelion, it wouldn't work without orange. It would still be a bit bitter. If you like the bitter, okay, but if you want to make it a little bit calmer, softer, less bitter, then the orange has to be there. And I have a lemon, half a lemon only, a little bit. Doesn't need to be so much. Just a little bit for the sour taste in the, in the dressing. A little bit more sour, it is nice with the fat together. And I have some spices here. This is not so much, this is here. A mustard seed, that's also nice, very nice with a, with a lemon, now uh, with, a, with a dandelion and the orange. Um, pepper, I have here three different kinds of pepper. Black, red, and lemon pepper. Lemon pepper in itself, it's a combination of very different peppers. If it's a classic, you can buy it. And I have um, um, onion powder. And that is another thing that you might try um, together with the um, um, orange, the dandelion. It's, it's a very nice combination, you will see. And a little bit of, to make it a little bit hot, chili. Yeah, a little bit of chili, you know, that's some very um, hot spice, the chili. And don't take too much. That will might ruin the dressing, and um, if you're not a super expert in hot, so most of the people are not. So I put some water in, of course, because alone, because of the um, avocado, I definitely need some water here. The orange on its own will make it a little bit creamy, but with the avocado, it is very thick then, so water is needed here, definitely. <laughs> Nice. Look at the texture.
texture now. Yes, perfect texture for my flavor. Yes, nice, creamy, still runny. Good for this dressing, fluffy too. Mm, yes, that's what I was waiting for. I show you the dressing as is, just on its own. It's like this. See? Let's see this fluffiness from the oranges and um, the avocado. This is perfect for this salad. Because the, uh, the texture is important in the salad to determine the dressing. A light dressing is needed when the salad is very light and tender, the leaves. But this, the dandelion, the bell pepper, the lemon, the, 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 the onion, and the, of course the walnut, are very strong. So it can have a dressing a little bit more um, heavy. This isn't heavy, but it is a little bit creamier. So I will toss it and then I will show you again what it looks like. Mm, these wonderful dandelion leaves. They have this nice crispy texture. They are, are wonderful. I mean, you can even get them on the lawn outside. Even if you are in a city, you go to a city, you, do, you can go to a place where the traffic is far away in a park or so, and you take that bendy line. And in case the dogs have been around, you will always definitely notice when any dog has been near the bendy line because it smells so strong. So if it doesn't smell like dog, you can take it. It doesn't matter. It is so healthy that it overrides the healthiness, uh, the good nutrients, um, the wildness, um, the little poison that is in from the city. So, dandelion is always a good buy if you find it yourself. A little bit of careful and then you can take it. This is my salad today. And you see the sun is shining so strongly and the autumn days, in the first autumn days, we have a wonderful autumn here. And well, I'm so looking forward. I had my fasting day the other day and now I will have this wonderful dandelion salad with um, orange avocado pistachio dressing. See you soon. Oh wow, subscribe MDV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. Okay.